everybody welcome to a christmas eve christmas day boxing day vlog this one i'm gonna warn you now is gonna be sporadic it's just clips that i've filmed over these few days like christmas eve to probably like the 27th without a real thread because i thought rather than focusing on like structuring a vlog i'm just gonna film the bits that i want to film when i remember to film them because i don't want it to feel like work so this is probably going to be a montage of highlights rather than like you know three days of a vlog but i thought i would start today i'm gonna take these off i keep getting really like tired eyes when I look at a screen for a long time which is why I'm wearing these these are blue light glasses not prescription glasses I don't know if you can see they have like a blue tint on them today is Christmas Eve welcome to the vlog we have a pretty regimented Christmas Eve tradition in this house where we do the same thing every single year and this year was no different obviously last year it was a little bit different but essentially we get up get ready we go to church around lunchtime and then we go to the pub in the afternoon in the pub then we come back and make pizzas watch the Polar Express if you've ever watched my channel at Christmas time before you have probably seen us do this before so he's back on and without further ado we're just going to get into it subscribe if you are new i hope you had the most lovely christmas i don't actually know when this is going to have gone up but i hope you had a lovely time and merry christmas merry christmas sing a song for the glorious season are we seven are we seven Hi. because this is a kids church service but it's fine Yep, that's true. Uh, this is my 22nd, 21st, no, 22nd year coming to this. Hello. Hello. It's Christmas Eve. We've been for some drinks. We have. Right. Hello, guys. It is 10 to 7. Here is Dad. We are making pizzas as of our family tradition. I when this started. Started in 2011. Saw it on my Facebook today. Um, this is the stage mine is currently at. I've just put tomato on it. I've actually got some veggie mince that I think I'm going to put on with some extra tomato sauce, some cheese, different cheese as well. We've got like mature cheddar here. That's smoky. Smoky? I might put a bit of that on. What's the coleslaw for? You put coleslaw on pizza? Uh, no, you eat that with it once it's cooked. Oh, okay. And then maybe peppers. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Cheese, veggie mince, and peppers as pizza toppings. We have done this every Christmas Eve. I've just got back from Tom's house. We had a couple drinks in the pub with Tom and his family, like his mum, his dad, his brother, his grandma, his granddad, that kind of thing. Now, it's pizza time before we watch Polar Express. That's a tradition. That's the last that's tradition. How many drinks you had? Have you had more drinks since you got home? I've had half a lager. Cracked open the bevs. We have had quite a few bevs today, but I feel like that's what Christmas Eve is for. Well, if you can't drink at Christmas, when can you? Apparently, guys, the word merry means to drink. Mm, merry Christmas. Like merry Christmas, like drunk Christmas. Uh, I think you've Christmas. made that up. I think no, you've made that up. It's a fact. No, I really don't think it is. <laughs> Voices singing, let's see. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> no, they don't cut you that, it's raw. Oh, no, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> That's not even <laughs> 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 No one asked if you'd had more to drink. Oh. As you can see, I am now home. I'm sat where I sat at the beginning. Um, we've had our pizzas. I had a few Proseccos and a few wines in the pub and now I am really quite sleepy. That is what happens to me. If I drink and I don't go out, especially if I'm drinking wine, I just want to go to bed. Like, it's not the alcohol to drink if you want to be like in the, in the going out vibes, which is fine because I'm not in the going out vibes, but I'm also like, mm, it's 7 p.m. and I'm done for the day kind of vibes. But our tradition this evening is of course to watch the Polar Express. So that is what we're gonna do. Tom is actually gonna come over. The reason I haven't filmed too much this afternoon is because I've actually spent most of Christmas Eve with Tom's family or a lot of the afternoon with Tom's family. And to be honest, I was just like having a good time, enjoying it, being in the moment. It kind of doesn't feel like Christmas Eve. I feel like once you're not a child anymore, Christmas Eve doesn't quite have the same feel to it. I don't know if that makes sense. Also, I can't tell myself seriously in these glasses. Really hope I never actually need glasses because I don't think I'd be able to wear them for fear of me not looking like me. So, yeah. <laughs> the dog knows it's Christmas Eve and she's gone mad. Get off him. Don't eat these teddies. These teddies are my teddy. <laughs> this dog is crazy. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it's Christmas morning. Look at how cozy the living room looks. Literally everything about this is screaming. Christmas. This is Lottie's stocking of gifts. They're for everybody, so there's obviously mum's gift here, dad's gift here, and then now we have the fun game of playing guess who's this is. I know what this is. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. Thank you very much. I don't know what the actual scent is. Like, what's it supposed to be? Because I just know that scent is a snow fairy from London. This one is um, my hair looking idea. So if you don't like it, you can blow your hair. You asked your hairdresser what to get me for yeah. Christmas. Well, you did give me ideas. Your hairdresser never even met me. That's the best story that I think ever. Oh, oh, wow. oh no, that's a good gift. That's so nice. Hey. Whiskey coffee, that's a double whammy. You know when I just said I need coffee? <laughs> <laughs> the best bit of Christmas morning is watching the dog try and get her own presents. Apart from our dog uses her hands. What are you doing? Use your mouth and you'll get it. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So we bought Lottie this little coat that has Stitch riding on the back of it and I think it's hilarious. Cause look, she's taking Stitch on a walk. Uh, they're sold out, are they? Yeah. Yeah, you just can't print them out. So only those three. Here is Thomas. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a box within a box within a box within a box. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so nice. Is it what you wanted? I really like that. Not only is it Australian, also my birthday. That's just chilling in the background, like, hello. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Hello, guys. It's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. It's Christmas Day. I'm in the car at the moment with Tom because we are just popping to Tom's house. If you didn't know, Tom literally lives, and I'm not even exaggerating, across the road from me. Around the corner. Like, we're driving because we've got gifts and stuff. Otherwise, there's, like, no need to drive to this house. Does um, it stop us from driving? No, we are quite lazy. However, today we are obviously swapping gifts. Tom has just been at my house, as you saw in the last clip, opening the two gifts that I'd got him that weren't in our gift swap. If you watch the gift swap, you'll know that we weren't really doing gifts because we were just saving up um, money. We all just spent on presents to hopefully go traveling. But let's be honest, don't know when that's going to be happening. So I'd got Tom like two main gifts, kind of one main gift and a little extra. And you will see him on what I got for Christmas. So you will have already seen what Tom got me. Yeah, they were beautiful. Anyway, now we are just doing the reverse and I'm popping to Tom's house to get the gifts that his parents have got me and also to give them the gifts that me and my family have got. Um, Merry Christmas. Oh, so I've got these new dangly earrings in. My grandma got me these. I really like them. They're like a festive. Well, actually, they're not. They're not specifically festive, but I feel like they are quite glamorous, like occasiony, which is nice because I love. I love a statement earring. You guys know I love a statement earring. She does love a statement earring. Are you having a nice Christmas morning? I am having a lovely Christmas morning. Was the puppy enjoying her first Christmas? She was. She'll be fussy to see you. I'm excited to see her. And. Show them the, 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 the summer seven. I've already seen it in my what I got for Christmas, but I don't want to stick my finger up at you guys. This ring means so much because it's not only Australian, like this is Australia made, but also Opal is my birthstone. I was born in October. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's, it's got some beautiful colours in it. I know, Opal, I think in my opinion, and I'm not just saying this, Opal is the most gorgeous gemstone because it's got like blues, pinks, greens, my turquoise. My mum agreed. She said she loves Opal as well. It's just a really beautiful yeah. gem and it is the national stone of Australia. It just, it just means a lot, it has a lot of meaning, so. Love you. You. This is our fifth Christmas together. Crazy. We have been gift swapping. And we've swapping. known each other for six Christmases. Yeah, we have. Bloody hell. Well, actually, we've known each other a lot longer than that. No, we haven't. Yeah, we knew each other when we were younger. No, we didn't really, we did we? Well, we knew of. We lived We lived even nearer. When I was younger, I used to live like in a, down a different street, basically at the same side of town, even nearer to Tom. Um, we used to walk to school together. We didn't go to school together. Private, no, thingy. We, um, we went to nursery together yeah. very briefly. I've clearly got no recollection of that. No, it's him. But, but apparently still. we did. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Can I say hi? Oh, Merry Christmas. Rosie's she been spoiled with presents. She does. Lottie hates the camera, so that's quite yeah. funny. Do you get loads of presents? Did Santa bring you gifts for your first Christmas ever? Yeah. Look how small she is. I am back home from Tom's. It is Christmas dinner time. This is the best bit of Christmas day, in my opinion. I am so excited to eat this. Harry got an Xbox. An Xbox. An Xbox. Oh, and Lottie's got a little Christmas dinner. Oh, I'm so excited. I've got my veggie top. Ah! From the Tiger Inn in Beverly. It's delicious. Please don't criticize the food, my mum will cry. <gasps> I'm a 
have one. Maybe you'll get one. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Lottie. <laughs> and it's gone. It's been a couple of hours since Christmas dinner and this is how I have been sitting. <laughs> No, not really. I only just undid it, but this is my new blanket, guys. Look at this. How cozy is that? This is the best thing ever. <laughs> I love this. Going? It's from B&M, isn't it? It is. Look at the other side of it. It's like suede. I don't know what the word for it is. Not suede. Not silk. It's thick, isn't it? Yeah, it's so nice. This is the correct way to spend Christmas afternoon. <laughs> don't get makeup on it. I will. We have just played a game of snakes and although I think it probably has the concept and the like ideas behind it to have a great game and be a great game after you've had a few drinks and it's like 11 p.m. on Christmas night, it's just quite complicated guys. Like look at all these rules. So we played a few rounds just with our own rules and it was just simply a bit complicated. But we did also play this, True Colours. This is really good. I played this last week with Katie, Jenny and Gabby. Bit easier to understand. Did you like snakes? Did you understand snakes? In the end. But I think people just lost the patience. I think everybody's tired. I think I was quite and calm. had a bit. I'm had actually a bit quite of wet now. I haven't napped earlier. Yeah, I didn't nap. I haven't napped. It's Christmas Day and I haven't napped. You didn't nap on Christmas Day. I didn't. I read a book instead. Uh, no, it was a good game. The mongoose is true. The mongoose. If you've got the game Snake, this is the best character. Mm -hmm. You will know what I mean. The mongoose of truth. I don't even know what a mongoose is. But this is probably where I'm going to leave it for Christmas night. So I will pick you up on Boxing Day. Don't know really what I'll film tomorrow because I really think tomorrow is one of those days out of the year where you just do a big fat nothing. It's like where you Sleep. build your Lego. Do you know what I actually have to do? Tidy your room. Edit. All I have to do tomorrow is edit. I am so putting my Mustang go. sign up. You're putting your Mustang? I thought you were going to be like, I'm putting my Mustang together. I wish. Mm. My Mustang. Oh, I didn't get you your Lego Mustang together. Putting my real car together. Yeah, it's... Tom's car's broken. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We'll pick you up in the morning. Hello. Hello. I am in the car. Oh, a bit dark back here. It's very dark, isn't it? Um, I've got no makeup on though, so that's probably for the best. It is actually the 27th of December. Didn't vlog anything yesterday because Boxing Day was the laziest day of the whole year so far, wasn't it? It was the most Sunday of Sunday. The Sunday is Sunday of all mall. Like we were saying, like literally Christmas, like Christmas Eve is. It feels like a Friday. Friday night. And then Christmas Day is the Saturday because it's like you said, it's like the main event. The main event, the big show. And then show. Boxing Day is the Sunday and it just felt perfect yeah. this year. Yeah, even if Boxing Day wasn't a Sunday, I feel like it just is, it just is a Sunday. It's a Sunday. So today is Monday, we have come to get Costas because we've actually got a new drive through that has opened up really close to where we live, which is incredibly dangerous because I'm going to be here a lot. The memory card is full. Did you enjoy Boxing Day regardless of it being a lazy day? Yeah, I, I needed a bit of a lazy day. Christmas yeah. Day is so full on and you're just so tired. I think Christmas Day is a weird one because it, like, it is full on, but also I did nothing on Christmas Day as well. It's tiring eating. You have yeah. such a big <laughs> meal. It's like, it is tiring. Mm. Anyway, we've got coffee. Tom is about to go and play football. Anyway, I'm going to go drop Tom off at football and then go home and probably read because that is what I spent a lot of yesterday doing. I'll talk to you about my book when I get in because I've actually finished it. So Is it the Christmas, the Christmas murder one? Yeah. Is it good? It was, well, it was and it wasn't. Is it worth a read? Yeah, it is, but it wasn't like the best book I've ever read. Get you on the vlog in your elf outfit, please. Look at the doggo. We've just come on a little walk with her. She's dressed as an elf. She is dressed as an elf. <laughs> could be worse. She could have stitch walking on her back <laughs> in the street. Okay, we are still on the dog walk, to be fair. It's got seven. It's seven degrees. I look like I'm in the Antarctica. I put my um, hood up as well, just because, like, extra warmth, you know. It is very chilly, and also, it's not even that it's chilly. It's just because I'm standing still at the moment, because Mum's just picking up a few bits from the corner shop. Here she is. Got to wait outside with the dog, who uh, cries the whole time because she can't bear to be without her. That dog has attachment problems. Hello. Did you miss me? Look at her. <laughs> she went in the shop, Lottie, for three seconds. Oh, yeah, Firstly, my hair is a complete and utter tip. Secondly, so is my office. But there are two things that I wanted to talk to you about before this vlog ended. The first was, of course, the book, because I said I was going to do a little review. I'll keep it short and sweet. This is The Christmas Murder Game by Alexandra Benedict. I liked it. It's not the best book I've ever read. I said in my vlog before Christmas that I thought it was like heavily inspired by Agatha Christie, and I really think that it is. However, it's just not executed quite as well. Like, it's very weird. Like, I actually think that there's a couple of plot lines that are just not really addressed properly that are very odd. Like, for example, 
incest yeah i'm not really too sure if i actually even read it right i might have completely misread that but that kind of shows you it was a little bit complicated not complicated it wasn't complicated there was just a lot of characters that didn't get a lot of like character development i don't know basically the overall plot was really good i like a whodunit it was an intriguing tale i didn't know where it was going it had elements of horror at times like you didn't know if it was like a ghost or if it was actually happening and it was a good christmas festive read i finished it on boxing day it's set over the 12 days of christmas um but it's not the best book i've ever read i am now reading daisy jones and the six which is really good different to how i thought it was going to be um but still really good that's not what i wanted to talk about though the second thing look at what arrived this morning guys on boxing day i did a little bit a little bit of online shopping not a lot literally just these because i knew that i wanted them and in my head i thought oh, i'll get them in the boxing day sales and then they just weren't on sale anywhere so i just paid full price for them anyway which is fine um so i have now got my first ever pair of Doc Martin boots. I can't believe I've got to the big age of 22 and I've never owned a pair. I think originally I used to think that they were like really cool, like way too cool for me to wear. People that used to wear them in school were like the indie kids, um, the people that I was just low key like oh you're way cooler than me kind of people however it's not that i think i've reached that status definitely not i think it's that i've just realized actually it's just it's just a shoe um and anybody can wear them and they also have so many more styles than i thought they did i thought it was like you go on the doc martin website and you just buy this because this is the only pair they do did not realize that they had like so many different versions of essentially the same shoe so these are the 1460 eight hole boot is that correct it's quite complicated yeah 1460 eight boot is their actual name they're quite expensive doc martins for what they are but the quality is meant to be insane they're meant to last you such a long time like literally forever if you look after them so i will let you know how these go obviously a big thing with docs is like how you break them in so i asked on my instagram story the other day and loads of you were giving me the wackiest of advice so i had relatively normal things from like you know blister plasters wear them in the house before you wear them out anywhere fluffy socks buy the official doc martin socks for like helping you break them in and stuff so then some slightly more off the wall ones like make sure that you always have your footwell heater on in your car so that the leather gets softer which i guess makes sense and is quite logical heat them up with a hair dryer i haven't heard that before but i'll give it a go let me read my dms thick socks walking boot socks wonder balm not heard of that that was a few people saying that on amazon buy heel protectors silicon ones they're a lifesaver a layer of socks underneath your regular sock invest in silicon heel protectors all the way through to some even more weirder ones like line the inside of your shoe with a period pad which i have never heard of before but a few people said that i saw the first message come through with that and i was like that is so rogue and then i got a few more messages saying the same thing and i was like okay people are actually doing that um so they're my top tips if you wanted to know what they were for breaking in a pair of doc martens i'll keep you updated on how this goes in the upcoming vlogs in the new year this is actually going to be my last video of 2021 i've had an incredibly chilled out week between christmas and new year which to be honest has just been lovely i've literally spent the whole time with like my family and my boyfriend i've been a lot more off my phone i've read a lot more and it's actually been really lovely so i am going to upload like a 2021 look back goals for 2022 video because that is a tradition on this channel but that is going to be up on january the first before i go i'm also going to say happy new year i hope that whatever you're up to you have a really lovely evening new year's eve for me is one of the weirdest nights of the year i think it is the strangest celebration in the whole calendar because nobody ever really knows what to do with themselves i don't know obviously this year a lot of people's plans will be really scaled back maybe even not doing anything at all but i hope you have a lovely evening a lovely friday night if you're not doing anything it's just a friday night isn't it so yeah i hope that you go into january feeling positive i know that could be hard i find january quite a bleak month personally i think i struggle probably the most in january we've got to try we've got to try be optimistic so thank you so much for your support this year thank you for watching this vlog thank you so much for just you know always being so lovely i know there's so many of you here in this space watching this now that have watched me on this channel for years and sometimes i just sit back and think that is like dedication and i'm really really grateful for that and i don't want you to think that i take that for granted at all because i really don't Woo! got a bit deep at the end i hope you've enjoyed this vlog it was pretty chill give it a thumbs up if you have and i shall see you guys in the new year i don't know about you but i'm feeling 2022 it's gonna be a good year i'm feeling it lol just kidding really not gonna ride too many expectations or hopes on the next year at all we'll just take it as it comes <laughs> bye guys